hello everybody welcome to this video in this video we are going to talk about the data type uh, and also i apologize for the background noise of last video actually i prepared that video and i didn't plug my mic it was recorded by my pc mic and the laptop fan makes background noises so in this video i fixed that so today we are going to talk about the data type what is data type whenever we are creating variables and we should tell that if you are a variable so you have to store specific things for example this one is a string and the name of variable which is name and equal to ali which is the value when we are uh, typing a string this box will be create and we told this box that you only contain a string type it's the data type of this variable what is a string a string something that comes between this double quote comma or single quote comma it will be a string it may be this Ali or any other name words or any like any other phrase you can put between this double quoted or single quoted comma it will be a string this box which is created you can only put a string inside this variable not for example a number one two uh, there could be a number between this uh, double quoted uh, but not without double quoted so if you want to put a number inside a variable we should change the data type for example i want to store age inside a variable we should not use a string type variable this time we have another variable the type of this variable is int the name is age and equal to a number we can put a whole number inside the int type age variable so this is the box which we create the type of this box or variable is int and it only store a whole number whether minus 25 or 25 we cannot store a decimal point like 2.5 if you want to store something in decimal point we have an other variable type we can create a double data type double and the name is pi the value is 3.14 so any kind of decimal point value can be stored in a double um, if it is needed you can use double so another variable data type is here is called bool bool which is which means boolean uh, which contain only things true or false this two value can be stored in a boolean variable data type so whenever some uh, something happened that you should put uh, a true or false in your application or in your program uh, you can use a variable with boolean type like this one there is another variable which is var var is actually a data type which is dynamic you can put 3.14 whether you can put Ali inside you can put uh, 25 so if you need it you can use this data type by giving var the name of variable is equal to anything you want it will be create and you can store anything inside so let's go on the dark page or the dark side that uh, implement this variable uh, to know them better so I open the dark dot div and i came to the try dart here is our main function and we can type our program and test it we want to create a variable type of variable should be string and i can give a name to the variable 
ABC. What kind of string you want to put inside this? I put inside this double quoted comma hello. And how to print this? Inside our print function, we can put the ABC and we can run it. This is spelled ABE ABC and we can run it. Now there should be hello. If you want to use the other variable, which is age is equal to 25 and if we want to print this we can put the age inside our print function and let's run it here is the 25 which we create this variable and another variable data type which is content decimal point was double double pi is equal to 3.14 and we can put the name of variable here let's run it here is 3.14 and the other data type uh, which was boolean that we put b double o l and a name for example boolean is equal to it should be true or false for now i put the value is true and now the name and run what could be the output the output will be the true which we put inside this boolean variable the type is boolean and the last one is var a var is a variable which contain any type i put the name also any and equal to something like Ali. If I run it, I forgot the double quoted comma because it is string. This dynamic variable or var, it is intelligent. Like uh, if we put an a string, it will know that uh, my type should be string. If we put a number like 22, it will print 22. It will know that my type is a number. Anything we can put, for example, 3.14 and if i print or run uh, we can see the result so this variable is dynamic and it knows the type according to the data or the value uh, we store it inside of this okay this is the data type we talked today uh, this is also called uh, primitive data type when we are building our app so they are needed whether the app is a small app or if it is a professional app we can use this primitive they are uh, too helpful and i hope uh, you learn the variable and the data type of this variable in this video and for supporting you can subscribe the channel and uh, if you like this video please thumbs up and thank you see you in the next video